Hi guys, it's Mary. I am working on a couple of Thanksgiving uh, cards, and so I thought I'd make a quick video and um, share one with you. Um, I just made um, this tree um, from the Autumn Blessings collection uh, from Crafter's Companion. And um, it was really, really simple because it has, let's see if I can get a piece of paper. Now. Um, it has the numbered stamps. So it's pretty simple just to um, go uh, stamp one, two, three, and four. And each one has a uh, squared corner and you just um, match up the square corner and you can't go wrong. Um, it's fairly easy. And uh, I'm gonna end up cutting this down um, to be a, um, probably an A2 uh, size, um, but it lines up perfectly. Um, I thought it was great. So that's um, one that I'm gonna be using uh, to make a card with. And then um, the second one um, is the one that I thought I would um, share with you. And that's the um, Falling Leaves um, embossing folder and stencil. And I've mentioned this before, um, after, uh, especially after taking the weekend uh, event that I did um, this um, past weekend. Um, I love stencils. Um, I love layering stencils and layering um, stamps. Layering stencils, oh, it's, it's a game changer as far as coloring. Um, so this one is, is a simple one because you use the embossing folder and then, and I'll show you from the same Autumn Blessings collection. So I've already done the embossing and I've done uh, my sentiment in the uh, middle, which is Happy Thanksgiving, uh, which came from one of their, um, the collection that I bought uh, came, comes with two different um, packages of sentiments. So. Um, I just used the Happy Thanksgiving from this one. Um, this one has um, Happy Thanksgiving. It talks about autumn, give thanks, heartfelt wishes. Um, so, and then their other one is uh, You Are Such a Blessing, Thankful, uh, Blessed, Thankful and Blessed, uh, Sending Blessings. So, this one's called Thankful and Blessed, obviously. This one's called Heartfelt Wishes. So, all right. So now, after it's embossed, then all you do is line up the stencil. And you can pretty much get right in the groove of... Um, from the embossing. And we're just gonna line that up, making sure it looks good. All right, so the mat that I'm using is super um, magnetic. So I'm just going to hold the stencil down. This one seems a little off. Let's see if I can move it over just a touch. All right, so I've picked 
out. Let me put that one right there. Okay. So I've picked out some fall colors. I'm going to use Honey Pot, Orange, Bordeaux, and then uh, Smoked Emerald. And I'm going to use my brushes. And I've got the regular size brushes and then I've got some teeny tiny ones. So, all right. So there's several different um, kinds of uh, leaves. So I'm just going to go in um, and just um, hit the ones that I want. with whatever color I want. So I'm gonna do all the yellows first. I've found more and more that um, more companies are coming out with layering stencils or just stencils uh, to go with different dyes and things. Let's do maybe this one right here. And like I said, they're a game changer and I'm really, really enjoying um, the ones that I've used so far. I just got some in from um, Gina K. I have on order, it hasn't come yet. And I just got some from Pink Fresh and LDRS. So once I, I can, I will. Um, have a play with those and uh, do a video. All right, so now we're going to use the orange and come in with a little bit darker. I'm gonna move this down for a minute. Get this one over here. Now I'm using the big brush. Um, But if you've got the mini brushes or like I've got a whole set of different sizes here, you can, whatever you're used to. If you don't have brushes and you've got the daubers, that'll work too. Um, or the, um, like the Tim Holtz uh, ones that you pounce down on, which for the life of me, I can't even think about what they're called now. But those two. Oh, I'm going to go in with some Bordeaux. And I'm not being real careful about the dots because I'm going to go in with a brown. Um, in the end, I 
and that'll take care of that. So if you have been using the layering stencils, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about them and what you've used. Um, how you like them. All right, let's go to the green. Um, the ones I've tried so far, I've really enjoyed, so. But I know there's a whole lot more out there that, and probably a lot more companies that I'm not even aware of that. Probably have some great ones. These ink pads that I'm using are the um, Spectrum Noir Quick Dries. This one doesn't, uh, this one seems to be a little bit drier than the other ones. All right, I've got one more up here. All right, all right, now I'm gonna take the brown. And do these little dots. These uh, up, oh, I just realized I missed a, a leaf right there. I think I did that the last time I made one of these. I'm not sure why I keep missing it. But I do have to make that an orange. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing with these. I'm using a um, like an off-white color cardstock. I think for fall, it's I like it better personally. It doesn't seem so stark like a white wood. Along with the uh, fall colors, but that's just personal preference. All right, I was gonna do the orange right there. So on that leaf that I missed, let me get that out.
All right. All right, let's make sure I didn't miss anything else. And yes, there's a dot that I missed. slowly remove these just to make sure oh, another dot right there okay and then of course as soon as I'm done here I'm gonna need to wipe down the stencil all right so let's have a look There it is. And, you know, you can see, like over here, there's different colors. But when a leaf turns, it's different colors, you know, before it dies totally. So, um, I love this combination right there. So, oh, oh I missed a spot. Hold on. Let's see if we can get this. Let's see if I can lay this back down carefully. Okay. Success. That would make me crazy. All right. So that's it. I'm going to wipe that down. Um, but you can see how quick that is. Pardon my arm. Um, and I just think it's just so pretty. And the stencil really helps in the coloring. And it really brings out the dimension in the uh, embossing. So, And it didn't take long at all. Uh, which is what I like about it, because you can, you can pretty much do, you know, like I could have done a couple of cards, the same card at the same time, you know, and just go back and forth. So, um, I'm quite pleased with the way it looks. I think it's very, very festive, very fall, um, very colorful. So, uh, let me know if uh, how you like the card. Um, and this stencil and um, embossing folder combination. So, um, yeah, leave me uh, uh, your thoughts in the comment section. All right, so that's it. Um, as always, thanks for um, watching, taking your time to um, take a look. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you subscribing. Um, if you have any questions, or any comments, uh, remember, um, I, I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, let me know if you've been using the layering stencils, what company, uh, and how you like it. Um, like I said, I think they're a game changer. Um, I'm not very good at coloring, even though I own a slew of markers. Um, and sometimes I just don't have the patience for it. Um, even though I like the end look, but I really like the end look of this too. So, and it's a lot simpler and easier. So, um, so that's it. So until the next one, stay safe and well and happy crafting. Thanks for watching. Bye.